Welcome to Rauda Beyond, Life Beyond Metal. Welcome to Rauda Beyond, and uh, let's continue with the James Bond movie reaction slash review videos. This time it's the first one since Sean Connery decided to not to play James Bond roles anymore. So we're in for something different. Let's take a look at that while I guide you through this one. It's called On Her Majesty's Secret Service from 1969. This is not indeed starred by uh, James, uh, Sean Connery, but uh, George Lazenby, uh, which of course, I guess, became quite of a shock when you were just going for the movie series for the first time. Now, we start with Avalanche, and uh, presents one of the best skiing scenes in the whole movie series. I mean, pretty much all the James Bond movies include always either diving, cars, uh, chases, can be motorboats as well, and uh, well, while making and then kind of some kind of a skiing thing. Might be even airplanes, but pretty much you all have that. Now, with all these beautiful ladies, these gorgeous ladies, and an alpine. Uh, building well you have plenty of that female beauty in the whole stuff but apart from that uh, this is one of the different James Bond movies in so many ways of course it has these trademark fights uh, it has some interesting chases also pretty cool car chase you hopefully will see that uh, in intense uh, firefights um, James Bond charisma even though not Sean Connery indeed anymore about George Lazenby, which at first for me anyway was kind of a shock. That is when I was a kid. Later on, of course, you would expect it. it wasn't that much of a big deal. But as a story, uh, I think this is one of the better James Bond ones because it is something different. I don't want to do no spoilers in case you haven't seen it. But there is a surprise, something that even the later James Bond movies haven't really been able to do. And I think that's really fantastic. And like I said, one of those uh, skiing chases is very cool. The bad guy, the villain of James Bond, Terry Savalas, I mean, great charisma, great villain and all that stuff. Um, I think this is, in a way, kind of overlooked James Bond movie for a couple of reasons. It doesn't have the most famous James Bond actors, as James Bond, of course, and uh, because of the storyline is different. However, this includes some metal-level jokes about previous James Bond movies. That is already right in the beginning, you saw a short glimpse of that with the beat scene and all that stuff. But apart from these differences, you know, be it about uh, the, the, the new actor and storyline and all that stuff, a lot of trademark stuff is on this movie as well. Like said, beat car chases, beat even the bobsleigh <laughs> like chases, which is kind of a goofy, but very innovative, and, um, you know, fights, beat fist fights, shooting, um, you know, kind of uh, getting on with the ladies and all that stuff. Everything is kind of a familiar, yet at the same time something new. This really could have been uh, the start of a new era, if it wasn't that Lazenby was already gone after this movie, which in hindsight is a little bit of a disappointment, but then again, when Sean Connery came back after this one, of course it was kind of a relief as well. Now a lot of these cool scenes is already here, and uh, while this is from 90s, the, uh, sorry, 60s, the last one from the 60s, 69, and that was since 19, um, it feels not that outdated like so many other James Bond movies later on, and I think this is maybe the top third of James Bond movies all in all with the content and all. So um, yeah, it's it's worth worth a look, worth uh, seeing another time, even though it has its plausible <laughs> or likely flaws and all that stuff. And uh, as such, I think uh, some people will be like, I don't know, I'm not gonna like it. It's no Roger Moore, it's not uh, Daniel Craig, it's no Sean Connery, it's something different. But maybe those differences are actually the reasons why this one is actually better than most people seem to give it credit for. I think it's worth a shot, so 7 out of 10 for me anyway. Give it a go and decide for yourself and of course enjoy. 